This is Lesson 7. Round a given decimal to any place using place value understanding and the vertical number line. Before we start rounding decimals, we're going to look at some whole numbers. We'll begin with the number 7,561. The first thing we need to do is decompose the number. One way to look at this number is as 7,500s, 6 tens, and 1 1. Another way to look at this number is to have 70 five hundreds, six tens, and one one, or we could have 756 tens and one one, or we could even have 7,561 ones. When we decompose a number, we break it down or take it apart into its many parts. When we want to round this number, if we want to round it to the nearest hundred, we draw a vertical number line. And I see that we're, we, this number has 75 hundreds in it. 75 hundreds. The next hundred up would be 76 hundreds. We need to decide, is this number closer to 75 hundredths or 76 hundredths. Halfway between 75 hundredths and 76 hundredths would be 75 hundred and 5 tenths. We have 75 hundred and 6 tenths, which would be above that, maybe right in here. That tells us that our number is more than halfway to the next higher number. It therefore rounds to 7,600 in standard form. That would be 7,600. Now let's round this number to the nearest tens place. To begin with, we see that we have 756 tens. So when we make our vertical number line, we show that we're going to start with 756 tens. The next 10 up would be 757 tens. The midpoint halfway between is 756 tens and 5 ones. When we look at our chart, we see that we have 756 tens and one one. That one would land right about here. It is less than the midway point. Our number rounds to 756 tens. Writing that in standard form would be 7,560. Let's look at another whole number, 155, that's already been decomposed. We see 100, 5 tens, 5 ones, or 15 tens, 5 ones, or 155 ones. If we went around this number to the nearest 10, we can make our vertical number line. We see that we have 15 tens is our lower value. The next 10 up would be 16 tens. Midway between would be 15 tens and 5 ones. We have 15 tens and 5 ones. We have exactly the amount in the middle. When our number matches the midpoint, we round up to the next 10 for rounding. So this rounds to 16 tens, which is 160, when you round 155 to the nearest 10. To round 155 to the nearest 100, we'll draw our vertical number line. We have 100 and some more in our number. The next number up would be two hundreds. The midpoint, one hundred and fifty.
our number is 105 tenths, which is exactly what we had. 150 is 105 tenths, so our number is exactly in the midpoint. Round to the nearest hundred, this number would round up to 200. Now let's use this process with a decimal. We show 9 and 975 thousandths. Decomposed, 9 ones, 9 tenths, 7 hundredths, 5 thousandths, or 99 tenths, 7 hundredths, 5 thousandths, or 997 hundredths, 5 thousandths, or 9,975 thousandths. We'll begin by rounding this number to the nearest tens place. So we will draw our vertical number line, which shows that we have zero tens, so our number is between zero tens and one ten. Midway between would be five ones. We have nine ones, so our number would land right about there on our vertical number line. It therefore rounds to one ten in standard form ten. In rounding to the ones place, our vertical number line shows that we are going to start at nine ones. And the next one up is ten ones. Halfway between nine ones and ten ones is nine ones and five tenths. Our number is nine ones and nine tenths. So it's closer to the top, rounded to the nearest ones place. It rounds to ten ones, which is 10. Now we'll round our number to the nearest tenths place. Our vertical number line shows that we have 99 tenths at the bottom, and one more tenth would give us 100 tenths, which is the same as standard number 10. Halfway between would be 99 tenths and 5 hundredths. In our chart we see that we have 99 tenths and 7 hundredths above that midpoint line. This number rounds up to 100 tenths or 10 once again, rounding to 10. Finally, when I, we round our number to the nearest hundredth, we see that we have 997 hundredths. The next hundredth up would be 998 hundredths. Midway, would be 997 hundredths and 5 thousandths. Our number has 997 hundredths and exactly 5 thousandths. When we are at that midpoint place, we round up. This number rounds to 998 hundredths which is 9 and 98 hundredths.